Okay, I have six o'clock. I'd like to call the budget and finance committee meeting to order. Uh, call the roll. Uh, Mr. Jewell is here. Mr. Ford is here. Mr. Buckmaster is here. here. Mr. Burton. Mr. Clarity, yeah. Mr. Ferguson, yeah. uh, Mr. Harsh, yeah. Mr. Walsh, uh, Mr. Gregory and Mr. Gully are both out of town. They had uh, let me know that they weren't going to be able to make it tonight. So we do have a quorum. Um, first order of business would be to review the minutes from the September 20th meeting. They're in your packet. They were distributed. Are there any corrections or additions to the minutes? Ms. Ford. I have a motion to approve. Second by Mr. Harsh. I have a motion by Mr. Ford and a second by Mr. Harsh to approve the minutes as presented. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? It is done. Okay. Next order of business, we'll go over the trustees report and financial summaries for September. If you go to the first page, it says trial balance. It has uh, uh, pretty purple and blue and gold and orange colors on it. This is the trustees trial balance. It shows the balance in the accounts. These are not necessarily fund balances. This is the amount of money that's in the bank. The only thing I need to probably bring to your attention is the line that's in orange. This is the American Rescue Funds. This is our first draw against our award um, that we've made so far. Uh, I think they we had received is it from the comptroller's office mayor or we received word that we needed to go ahead and draw down part of that. Was that, was that from the comptroller's office? Uh, it kind of came down through Tennessee County Services Association right. and a couple of other ones because there was some talk about maybe stopping that, but they everybody would advise us to go ahead and draw it down. So I think just about every local government in the state has done that. This does have to be done by itself. Shown as a separate yes, it's in its own. Yeah. This will this money will have to be accounted for in its own category. Uh, we can't really mix it in with other funds. That's one reason it's it's showing separately there. There will be more to come. Uh, this is just the first, I guess you'd say first installment of that um, so far. Are there any questions about any anything else on the trial balance from the trustee? Okay. Yes, sir. Um, back to this orange line. Yes, sir. A dollar and eight cents. Year to date debit. That's the trustee commission that she had to take when it came in. Oh my God. A dollar and eight cents. It's, it's an accounting thing. If you'll yeah, see a lot. Of, I believe it's an accounting thing. It yeah. just, a lot of the, anything that goes through the trustee's office, there's a certain part of it that's allocated back to her office. I would have thought it'd been more like a hundred thousand dollars. I'll go with that. I'll go with a hundred thousand. <laughs> but but that's what it is. Okay, thank you. Any other questions on it, Mayor? Did you have anything to add? Okay. State money. That's federal money. That's federal money. Yes. Yes. Okay. Everybody good with the trustees' report? A little early into the year to be really telling anything about it, but uh, these are the numbers at this point. Okay. So no questions, we'll move on to the uh, summary financials. Um, on the back of the trustees report, you've got a comparison of this year versus last year uh, in your main categories, I guess you would, would say. Um, They're running pretty close to uh, what they were last year in all the categories. Nothing that's really very anomalous. Um, 
we do show the uh, $300,000 from Core Civic for the administration fees. And that was put into debt service, debt service account. I think that's where we had agreed to, to park that money. Um, any questions on that? Yes. Um, going into your summary financial statement, uh, we are the, the end of the third month on our figures, which reflects 25% of uh, the year's figures. So what you're seeing um, where it says budget is what was budgeted for the entire year. Actual is what we've spent year to date. And then the percentage that that reflects of the budget, the approved budget. Uh, looking through the 101 fund, uh, we're beginning to get property tax rolling in. Uh, I think we'll see that reflected next month in a, in a substantial amount. October's the first month that people can uh, pay and get their discount. And I know that they, they said they've already had quite a few people in. So I'm hoping that will come on along. Um, also on your 101 uh, revenue side, your local government Support funding is shown in yellow, $301,637. Now that, Jerry, is the state funding that we've received so far. Okay. So right now our revenues were at 13.2% of what was budgeted overall. Um, that will change significantly next month once we start getting property tax in. Any question on the 101 revenues? Okay. Move on into the 101 on the uh, expenditure side. Um, looking down through at your major categories are about where they need to be. Um, some of the smaller ones that come in, you know, once or twice during the year. Um, may be reflecting 100%, and that's where you've paid out what you budgeted for the year, such as soil conservation and some of those categories. But bottom line, we're at 25.2% of expenditures. Any questions on the 101? Okay, seeing none. Move on into the 111 Urban Services Fund. There again, we're comparing our numbers at 25%. Uh, property tax, it makes up the biggest uh, chunk of your 111 uh, funding. Uh, so until we start reflecting those figures, it's gonna look a little, a little bit uh, wonky. I like that word, wonky. Okay. Any questions on the revenue side of the 111 expenditures, sir? Yeah. Had okay, quite a few, I think, uh, inside the city, uh, which is kind of unusual, but uh, I think that's reflected there. Mr. Ferguson? If possible to go back that one page, I do have one question. I'm noticing a high percentage when it comes to line item 56,300 senior citizens assistance. It looks like we are at 59.1% of the budget. It's line item 56,300. So that includes their CARES Act grant. We actually have a budget amendment tonight that will be presented and that'll get the percentages closer to what it needs to be. That answer your question? Yes. Okay. Anything else on 111? Okay. Seeing nothing else, we'll move into the 116 solid waste fund. There again, uh, revenues look low because a big chunk of it comes from property tax. Don't see anything that looks 
questionable or terribly out of line? Yes, sir. Recycle stuff. We had held quite a bit, and I think it was up, mm -hmm. and they finally saw the lot that we'd been Never warehousing. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? One sixteen comments. Okay. One eighteen ambulance service. Um, There again, waiting for the property tax dollars to come in. Um, their expenditures, they're at 18.5% of their budget so far, at the end of the first quarter. Any questions on it? Okay. Next, 121 is just basically the pass through account on, on CCA. Um, 122 drug fund, very much the same thing. Highway fund, the 131 fund, uh, revenues are at 17.5, they run a month behind, plus they do not reflect any property tax to meet, to speak of. Expenditures are holding very well at 17.8. Uh, uh, I believe that account's looking very, very good at this point. Of course, they can have some big projects that will uh, make the numbers jump significantly at any given month, but uh, early in the year, this is pretty much to be expected. Mr. Four. 65,000 down there on other charges. They got 88, 100. I'm right above it, 75,500, and they spent 45,751, 60.6% .6 on other charges. Have any idea what other charges is? Probably some one-time things that they have to pay early into the year, I would assume, but that's just assuming that. I would also assume it's the uh, premiums for their insurance that is paid at the beginning of the year. Yeah, they pay their insurance, I think, annually, probably came out of it. We can try to find out. May, are you aware of anything that would be in that that's out of the ordinary? No, sir, I think it's it's kind of a catch-all. It gets a lot of other things in it, and I think that's why you see it. As you said, when your insurance comes in, those are usually bigger hits to your budget. Any other questions? All right, 141 school fund. Uh, this is a misprint in your in your packet. This was actually the ending figures for, for last year. Um, Amy, I think, just picked up the wrong file when she was putting this together. Uh, so that's that's why it's showing 106% of property tax, which hasn't come in yet. I do not have any school numbers for the month. So just so y'all know. They haven't given us anything yet, but that's uh, just ignore that 141 page, I guess. Unless you want to look at the end of last year's figures. Okay. Um, the first quarter, nearly 60%. That is not, I don't think that is the first quarter, correct figures. Just ignore the school section oh. completely, revenues and expenditures. I clicked on the wrong tab. It was supposed to be deleted. That's June numbers. It was a very busy week for me last week. I'm just, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's not right please ignore the two pages of the 141 general purpose school fund those figures are not correct um, 151 debt service 
got your breakdown on uh, the expenditure category as to where these various uh, funds go. And also a little summary of your interest rates on your variable uh, interest rate loans, um, particularly on the two big, big uh, dollar amounts, which is the Criminal Justice Center and the uh, Education. Uh, I guess that was the roof project, or is that the school? EES, EES, uh, energy efficient schools whatever that one was yeah you can see they've dropped a little bit uh we were hovering i think the lowest we've had in a long time was the one three four six and we're down to 1.306 and 1.271 respectively so uh, they have dropped a little bit uh, that should help on some things going forward Anytime we pay, we don't pay a lot of interest, but uh, we're, we're grateful for every reduction, even in a small percentage point that we can get. Any questions on that one? 156 is your education debt service, it's your wheel tax revenues, uh, uh, what little bit we get on investment income. Our um, wheel tax, car sales seem to be a little bit slow. Uh, if you go buy a car lot, you'll understand why. They don't have anything to sell. So I'm just thankful that we've got what we've got so far. And uh, typically they have a bit, of a, a bit of a boost in the fall when the new models come out. And also at, uh, around Christmas time, sometimes people actually buy cars for Christmas and with their income tax refunds and things of that nature. So hopefully, hopefully that will uh, resurrect itself a little bit later in the year. Uh, we just won't have to need to keep a wary eye on it. Okay. Any questions on any of the uh, financial statements? We can go backwards if we need to. See no questions. Uh, entertain a motion to approve the financial statement. Mr. Harsh so moved. makes a motion to approve. Mr. Burton makes a second. We have a motion and a second to approve the financials. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that is done. Move on into our budget amendments. I've got a few, few tonight. Um, first one is BA 101 11G uh, Senior Center CARES Act. This is uh, a request to amend the 101 budget to uh, move CARES Act funding for the Senior Center into the senior center, other supplies and materials so that they can spend these, these monies. Uh, this is a grant that was specifically for the uh, senior citizens center uh, for their use providing uh, funding for CARES Act. Uh, so that's what this is. This is their money. It's just moving it into a, a line item where they can Allocating spend it. Is that correct, Amy? Yeah. Okay. Any questions on it? Yes, sir. Is this the same one we discussed last month? We had one last month that we we discussed on about the same thing. Uh, Landon had asked about it, if that's the one you're referring to. It's just a grant from GR, GNRC to the senior center specifically. That's two separate issues. Oh, well, that's, they said they're going to use it for the same thing, to buy groceries and stuff for the elderly. Yeah, there was not a budget amendment on that. It was asked about, I think Mr. Gully asked about it last month, and I mentioned at that time that it was coming this month. So this is, I, I'm assuming we are talking about the same conversation. Uh,
Anyone else? Okay. Y'all okay with this one? We'll move to the next one. Okay. Um, next is an insurance recovery BA 101 12. Um, so you remember we had some repairs to the senior center vehicle and um, the sheriff had one that they had to have some repairs on. All these were monies that came back in on insurance recovery. Um, I think it was a window on the senior center van that was broken and the sheriff had a patrol vehicle that uh, I think backed into a pole or a pole went out and hit on one or the other, I'm not sure which. And uh, the rescue squad uh, lost, had a loss of some fire, fire equipment. Yeah, okay. So we've recovered $5,238 in insurance on this, and this is to put it back into those light items that were uh, used to repair these things and or to replace this equipment. Okay, Chairman. Hey. Yes. Yes, Mr. Walsh. What was lost by the fire squad? What was uh, the rescue squad. Uh, there was another was a radio. Um, I want to say uh, some uniform pieces. I don't remember the list exactly. Is the insurance recovery enough to replace all that? Yes. Um, Mark Carmen got a quote from the uh, business and was able to get that fully reimbursed by insurance. Thank you. That's where the money has come from the insurance companies and going into the items that it was paid out. But sometimes it doesn't replace it. And when they'll make sure that way, there's no other budget amendments for it. So, absolutely. I understand. Any other questions on that one? Everybody good with that one? Okay. Let's talk about them and then vote on them. Uh, next is um, BA 101 13R. Uh, this is a uh, request um, by the Chamber of Commerce uh, requesting some tourism funding. Uh, they printed 10,000 copies of the Battle of Hartsville driving tours, and these will be placed in the uh, 16 welcome centers across the state. Uh, they have to have a minimum of 500 copies before you can even put them in there. And um, looking at the, that would have been 8,000, uh, the price break, it was just about as cheap to buy 10,000 as it was to buy 8,000. So that's why they went ahead about 10,000. So if some of them go back through that, they can put it in. Um, this, this is uh, moving money from local government support grant reserves into this contributions category. Mayor, did I explain that well enough? Do you have anything you want to add on it? No, just Ms. Knutson's going to work with some uh, people to get this in all the rest stops and welcome centers across the state. Any questions? Mr. Buckmaster, you're recognized. Is there a plan to repair or replace the signs along this tour? Because I know some of them are in bad shape and some are missing. Be no point to come to a tour if you don't know where you're at. Not sure that's the first I've heard of it. Uh, can't answer that. Mayor, do you have any? Ms. Knutson's working with, I think, Tennessee Department of Tourism or Historic Commission, something like she's working on getting new signs for that. No, initially those signs were funded by the uh, uh, Hatton Camp. We had a fundraiser, did a reenactment and some things to initially when we set up the driving tour and uh, used those funds to, to buy those signs. And that's been well over 20 years ago, I'm sure. And uh, uh, we did the little park out on the Taylor property. Uh, they actually bought a cannon and put out there. We built rail fences and tried to tried to make it kind of nice. I think it, 
everybody would probably be surprised at the number of people that we have come into the county to do that driving tour. We see them all the time stopping and getting their picture made and things of that nature and getting inquiries on it. But uh, it's one of the better things that we have. And this is really, I guess, the, the first thing that we've, we've spent on it ever, if not forever, or a very, very long time. But um, that's, that's what this is to be used for. Does that answer your question? Okay. Any other questions on it? Comments? Okay. All right, next one is BA 101 14FB. Um, this is um, fund balance draw. This is uh, grant funding received. Uh, late last year in June, it wasn't spent. So basically they're wanting to roll it over, take it, it rolled over into this year's budget. So they're wanting to allocate it back out to, uh, to the equipment that it was, uh, where that uh, grant was, uh, what it was for. Just, we got it late. We weren't able to spend it in last year. So it automatically rolled into the fund balance. So we've got to take it out of the fund balance and park it back into this category. Did I explain that? Okay. Any questions on that one? No? Okay. If everyone is okay with those first four that we talked about, can we entertain a motion to move them to the full body before we get into these others? Mr. Ferguson makes a motion. Do I have a second? Mr. Walsh makes a second. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Next, we'll take up BA 101 15FB election deputy. Um, we had approved uh, Mr. Paxton in the election commission uh, being able to hire a part time person in the election office. Uh, we had put money in last year's budget to fund that based on what we thought. Um, what he thought he was going to be able to get someone for. Um, evidently in talking to people uh, need to increase the rate of pay that was anticipated. Uh, Mr. Paxman's here, he can explain it and y'all can ask any questions you have of him. Uh, just uh, having a hard time finding people wanting to work and if they do, they want to make a little bit more than maybe what we have been paying. That's obvious. Any questions for Ms. Paxton? Had uh, the original budget had a $9 an hour rate and uh, McDonald's is paying 14 bucks an hour. So we just could not get someone to take that position. Had two people apply, both of whom looked like they would be perfect fits for us. Uh, and both of them turned it down. They found other positions. In fact, the one lady's <clears throat> working up at Trousdale Bank and Trust now. So um, we talked to the, uh, some of the other offices that have deputies. And uh, so what we moved it up to was we were gonna try 13 an hour. That's what they're paying most of their deputies there. And hopefully we can get some quality people. Um, we need quality people, obviously, because they're going to be handling sensitive materials. So it can't just be somebody walking in off the street. So uh, that's that's why we came back and requested this. Any questions? Yes. Was it on this for a thirty-hour week? Was this what it was asked for? How many hours a week is this? 20, 20 hours. It was a part-time position. Mr. Ferguson has a motion to approve. 
Do I have a second? Mr. Harsh has a second. Is there further discussion? Make sure everybody's clear what we're doing and why. Don't see any. Call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we'll move that one forward as well. Thank you, Mr. Paxton. Appreciate all you do. Um, next, we get into some education uh, budget amendments. Um, first one is VA 14104, uh, the LEAPS program. Um, this is necessary to transfer revenue from LEAPS after school funds uh, in for the actual programming. Uh, it's their money. They're moving it basically from uh, one category to another within that same uh, uh, fund, I guess you'd say, of LEAPS, whatever LEAPS is. Anybody know? I don't know. That's okay. Any questions on that one? Uh, Mr. Uh, Satterfield, Dr. Satterfield had told me that he was going to be out of town this week and wouldn't be able to, to be here tonight. He sends his regrets. I told him I would, I thought I could explain it, but I hope I can. No questions on that one. Okay. Next one is BA 14105. Uh, this is Healthy Services, Healthy Students. Um, this is a grant carryover funds, uh, $500, and uh, they're using this to uh, offset uh, some nutrition instructor, I believe it is, that they wanted this for. There again, it's moving money within their own budget, from line item to line item, which we have to approve. Any questions on that one? These were approved and recommended by the Board of Education at their, uh, I think, last week's meeting. I believe it was last Thursday. Yeah. Um, next is BA 14106 Safe Schools Grant. Um, this is uh, student reports necessary to budget Safe School Grant in the amount of 30,000 funds used to purchase and repair security cameras, traffic barricades directional markings, knock boxes, and playground fencing. Uh, these are allowed uses under the Safe Schools grant. Uh, they've already received the funding. Uh, it's moving it into the line item that they wanted to sell it for, and I mean, use it for, and these are the uh, approved, approved things. Any questions on that one? Okay. Uh, they're moving money. We can take all three of them. Um, I guess next Monday night uh, in one one foul swoop if you want to. What's the will of the body tonight, Mr. Ford? I have a motion by Mr. Ford to approve these. Is there a second? Mr. Clarity gets the second. I have a motion by Mr. Ford and a second by Mr. Clarity to move these to the full body um, with a uh, favorable recommendation. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Yes, done. Um, I didn't have anything else for discussion tonight on budget. Mayor, did you have anything? No, sir. Amy, did you have anything? Commissioners, did you have anything? Okay, we'll come to that part of our uh, meeting for where we entertain comments from the public. Uh, if you're here in the audience and you would like to make a comment, we would like to hear from you. Yes, sir. Okay. Wow. So it's lottery money. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Patch. Okay. Mr. Walsh. Make a motion to adjourn. Have a motion to adjourn. All in favor. Say aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you for your time.